Hey guys, it's Max from High on Android.com. Today I'm going to do a slightly different video from usual. The topic is how to not go bald or how to slow down baldness. Before I begin, I know this is a topic a lot of men don't like to talk about. I don't like to talk about it, but I have some tips that could possibly work that has possibly worked for me. Uh, let me tell you a story. When I was 18, I started losing a lot of hair. I was working out a lot. I had a lot of testosterone. I was losing hair left and right. And something happened in my life that has helped me. Now I'm 38. So for the last 20 years, I was able to keep a lot of my hair instead of losing it all. Somehow I slowed down the rate of baldness. I mean, if your family has history of baldness, you're gonna go bald anyways. Of course, that's true. But I believe that, you know, by following these tips and they don't involve expensive medicine, laser, none of that stuff out there right now. My tips were actually given to me by a hairstylist in Korea. So when I was 18, I visited Korea one time and I got a haircut there. And the lady that was cutting my hair told me, you are losing hair. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I am losing hair. I'm losing a lot of hair. It was from when I was 16 to 18, I lost a ton of hair. All right, but one of the tips she gave me that really helped me uh, was that she told me to always dry my hair. All right, and if you go to Korea and you get a haircut, all the Koreans know this, uh, they always dry your hair, all right, until it's completely dry, all right? Every haircut place. And in Korea, uh, for men, hair is sort of a very important thing. A lot more important um, than how men consider hair in America. Just difference in culture. Anyways, they even have clinics for rejuvenating your hair. They give you hair massages. They got all kinds of different machines that help you not lose hair. Anyway, I didn't have to do all of that, but I simply listened to the vice and she told me just to dry my hair after a shower or anytime I sweat or maybe I get wet from the rain, just dry your hair out all the way. Now, the reason why this does work, I've sort of tried to reverse engineer it. And if you think about it, um, your skin has pores, right? If you don't clean your face every day, uh, you'll get pimples, all right? And pimples will keep getting bigger until they pop or you clean your face. All right, hair is the same thing. You have follicles and your hair grows out of it. And you know, if, if you don't clean your hair, if you don't keep it dry, if it's wet, there's more chance dirt will get stuck there, germs, maybe you might gr even grow bacteria. And I think that could accelerate hair loss. So after every shower, Nowadays, I dry my hair all the way. And that has really helped me, I think, in my opinion. Uh, and it does make sense. And if you guys play a lot of sports like me, I play golf. You know, I wear a hat all the time because the California sun is strong. And you know, when you wear a hat and you sweat, you know, your sweat stays on there. You get some dirt, even from your forehead, it gets all stuck there. And every time you wear a hat, you're actually putting all that stuff back on your hair. And guess where that all that ends up? in your follicles, all right? So anytime you work out a lot, sweat, you know, anytime your hair is wet or sweating, at least at the end of the day, you should take a shower and dry your hair before going to sleep. But if you go to sleep in that state, you're basically leaving your hair in a very dirty state. And I believe that causes hair loss. Now, none of this stuff I'm talking about, I can I cannot prove to you scientifically, but I've been actually doing this for 20 years, all right? Um, started when I was 18, now I'm 38, and I think it works. And it doesn't hurt to try, all right? And all you need is a hair dryer, and just dry your hair after showering all the way, especially the roots. Now, you don't wanna burn your hair or anything like that, just get it to the point where most of your hair uh, and the roots are dry or near dry, all right? And I think that does make sense. Another thing that can help you, uh, what I do is I, I give, you know, when I take a shower, I will give myself massages. So massage your uh, head, all right? And that will stimulate your follicles, uh, obviously your head, and I think that can also help. If you get a haircut in Korea, they will give you a head massage every time. And of course, dry your hair all the way. So I know a lot of men, especially in America, they don't even own a hair dryer. You probably even never used one. If you've never used one, I think you should try it, all right? And another tip I can give you is to never shave your head. I've seen stories where people shave their head, grow their hair back, and suddenly they lost a ton of hair. 
I think when you shave all the way, it's like you have more chance of the follicles getting dirty and causing hair loss. Obviously, I can't prove this. I feel like if you're going to shave your head, then it may further cause baldness. I think it's better to actually leave your hair long as possible. And that's actually one of the reasons I'm not cutting my hair. I'm <laughs> I think your hair is almost like plants. All right. If you have a lot of hair, anytime you're working your hair, um, it's actually getting some kind of exercise in a way. Even when I'm doing this, my hair is getting exercise. Anytime your hair is long, you know, the follicles have to support all that weight. I think it's actually giving your follicles an exercise uh, when your hair is long. And I've noticed that people with long ass hair, they never go bald. So you don't have to have super long hair, at least have like a quarter inch of hair. All right. And I think that can also help from hair loss. None of this stuff I can prove to you, but it's personally worked for me. And I'm being dead honest here. When I was 18, I started losing hair. I started drying my hair every day. It started giving my hair some massages. I've never ever shaved my hair in my whole entire life. You know, Korean men are crazy about it. And I grew up in that culture. Um, before I immigrated here when I was nine. And whenever I go back, all my friends are always talking about hair. All my friends always have different hairstyles, you know? I guess that could be looked as feminine in American culture, but in Korean culture, it's completely normal to talk about hair. Hey, that's a nice hairstyle. <laughs> so I think it's good to talk about it. Uh, the more we talk about it, uh, the more we share knowledge about this, perhaps there is a cure for baldness, or, or at least slow it down. But definitely try my tips, because it won't cost you nothing more than buying a hair dryer. And I know a lot of you probably don't even own a hair dryer. Just buy one for like 20 bucks at Walgreens and start using it. Just dry your hair every time you know you shower. At the worst, you'll still go bald. And you know what? I'm always ready to go bald. If I start losing a lot of hair, I'm just gonna shave everything off. But I think when you shave everything off, it even accelerates your baldness. All right, that's a trend I've noticed. And, and another fact that's been scientifically proven, um, if you have a lot of testosterone in your body, uh, which will be created if you work out a lot, you probably notice a lot of muscle builders, um, like, you know, super buff people, they're all bald. Right, because they have a lot of testosterone and that's been scientifically proven. So if you want to be super buff, um, you'll have to choose between between your hair or being super buff. All right. I'm not saying to not work out. I still work out, but I feel like, you know, just don't overdo it. Don't do those max reps, you know, like going crazy. And yeah, that could help. So that's another thing that can make you bald just from, you know, having a lot of testosterone. But yeah. Pretty simple tips, you can't lose. And the reason why I'm sharing with you, because obviously it, it worked for me. It's a pretty sensitive subject. And one of my best friends actually asked me about this subject. So I just want to make a quick video and I'll do an update maybe in another 10 years, see where my hair is. <laughs> so my hair is about here now. I'm going to actually not cut my hair for a while, but try these tips and they're not going to happen right away. You're going to have to do this on a daily basis for months, probably for at least few months until you see uh, some results. So definitely try it at the worst. It won't work. Um, but if it does work, do come back to this video and yeah, do leave a comment because I would like to know if this method does work. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a great day. And you know what? At the end of the day, your hair isn't everything. But if you're at the age like I was, maybe you're, you're 16, 17, 18, and you're really losing a lot of hair, and that's when it really happens to a lot of the guys. Yeah, definitely try my tips and it might save your hair. Who knows? All right. Have a great day. And as always, stay home.